Hey guys. So, this will be the weekly reading for Aquarius. Um, somebody is like, you're building a legacy. Like, you're going to be coming into some money here. Or you're just like on the path to long-term success and wealth and financial security and leaving a legacy. Um, yeah, just very stable. Things going well for you. Some of you guys are on the path to some type of committed relationship, family situation, partnership. I don't know. Let's see. Turn up the three swords reverse. Yeah, you guys are like healing on, healing from something. You're moving on. You're healing from something. You guys could be very focused on just like your money and security and stability. Um, but you're definitely like getting over some type of heartbreak or pain here. And just kind of pouring into yourself. And something is manifesting here. Yeah, healing. I can't make it up. It's just I just see like a message here of you guys are healing. What is the Ace of Swords? Wow, guys. This looks really good. Okay. You guys are, there's a breakthrough here. You guys are about to be coming into a period of your life where you're going to be getting everything that you want. All of your wishes being fulfilled. Very content, very satisfied. Um, living, living your best life, okay? Um, achieving a lot of things here. Like, it's like you're finally getting over something that was really painful and that was keeping you stuck for a long time. You're overcoming some type of heartbreak here. You're, you're finally leaving something behind. You're taking the lessons. You're moving into calmer waters. And it's like, all your manifestations are coming in for you now. All right, guys, that was extremely creepy. I swear I just heard somebody knock on my door. But I don't see anybody out there. <laughs> so anyways, back of the deck, we have pages. Oh. Is somebody watching you come into this energy? Somebody's watching you move on from them and heal from them, manifest all your desires, live in a life of luxury, like living your best life, seeing you focused on other things that has nothing to do with them. Yeah. Somebody's observing this. Somebody sees this. <laughs> and Eight of Cups, sorry, Burris, now they want to return. Somebody's come back to you. Of course. Of course, to fight for you. Someone's coming back to fight for you. Oh, so you're starting to finally move on and heal and everything is going well for you and boom. Here comes somebody watching you, keeping tabs on you, seeing you have a come up here, like seeing you heal and be very successful and they're about to come back. And fight for you. Ah, because, yeah, the Nine of Pentacles fell out when I was shuffling. Because they're not doing so great, guys. You're in this Ten of Pentacles energy. Or you're on the path to the Ten of Pentacles. Whoever this is, is in the Nine of Pentacles in reverse energy. They're 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 uh, working real hard to try to make some ends meet right now. And, oh, you know what else, too? This person's jealous. Somebody's envious. Um... And they're going through some financial setbacks. This person also kind of feels like they have to work really hard to just make ends meet. And you things come very easily to you. That may not be the truth, but that's how somebody's maybe seeing you here. But I feel like they want to squash the beef with you. And now they want to have a new beginning with you because they're seeing you do very well for yourself. And they're not doing so great for themselves. But why is why did this what what caused the ending? Because I see you guys are healing from this person. I mean, this doesn't have to necessarily be the same person that hurt you that's watching you. But why is this what happened between these two people here? So we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. What about the Queen of Cups in reverse? Judgment. The Ten of Swords in reverse. You You were overly giving to this person. You you feel like you were give you were giving too much to this person, and you had some type of wake up call about this, or you will. It's like you've learned your lesson. What happened though? What happened between these two people? Ah, see, look, you're at the Queen of Pentacles. You this is somebody that you have a connection with, though. We have the Queen of Pentacles here, and we have the Queen of Queen of, King of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you guys are married to this person. Doesn't have to be. 
But yeah, they're, this person is they does not have their money together. Or they're they're very one in their cake and eat it too. They're greedy. Yeah, they don't make good decisions for they, they're yeah, they're very wasteful. What about this King of Pentacles in reverse? They're not, yeah. Sun in reverse. Lord, the six of pentacles. What about the six of pentacle pentacles? The hierophant. I don't know. I don't like this, guys. I feel like you're letting this, you were you gave too much to this person. Like they were not giving to you in the same way. This person needs your help or something with the six of pentacles. They're not happy. They're in a very, they're in like a low vibrational energy or they're just like, they're not, they're not happy where they're at. They're in this like negative energy, but they are about to make a move towards you with the here font and the six of pentacles. They're going to want to be in a relationship or like work together on something or they're wanting to come and get in a commitment with you because they want something from you. So they are about to, this person has been conflicted about whether or not they even want to try to have some balance and reciprocal if they want to give to you, if they want to commit to you. But why is the Ten of Wands on the back of the deck? The Two of Cups. I don't know. I feel like, yeah, they feel like they have a lot. You know what I feel like is happening here too, guys? It's like they thought about things. And wherever they're at, they feel very burdened. And they feel like they have like a lot of obligations. And they feel like they feel very overburdened. I don't know how else to put it. And they're stressed and they're exhausted. And they feel very burnt out. Like I told you, somebody feels like they have to work very hard to just make ends meet. And things come very easily to you. And it's like, they're, they've thought about it. And they feel like the two of you being together, you guys coming together, yeah, joining forces, whatever you want to call it, and making amends, is like going to maybe take some of this weight off of their shoulders or something like that. But they've been, re they've been being resistant to this, guys. They resisted. What would actually like, how do I say this? I'm gonna, it's not going to solve all their problems, but definitely the two of you being together and having something balanced and reciprocal, you, them helping you, them giving to you, you helping them, you giving to them would have been mutually beneficial. It would have definitely helped uh, improved or helped some of their issues. Okay. Helped whatever this is that's burdening them. Um, But they were being resistant to it for whatever reason, but they've re thought about this again. And now they feel like, if they resisted this and they rejected this, they feel like they missed an opportunity. Like they 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 pushed away something that could have been really good. Because this person is like, if they didn't choose you, they're they're looking at like how well you're doing for yourself. They didn't choose you, but they're over there going through it. They're in poverty, they're in lack, they're in negative energy. Like things are not going well for them, but things are going well for you. So they're over there like, well, why didn't I choose the collective? I did cho choose them and now I'm just in this negative. I, I have all this negative shit around me. But look at the collective. They're over there living their best life. And I chose to not pursue that. That's what I was resisting. I hope that what I'm saying makes sense. So they're coming back because they're observing you and they're seeing all the things that you're achieving. They're seeing the life that you're living. And they're comparing it to what their situation is like. And I feel like they're kind of just thinking like, well, wow, that didn't make sense for me to push that away. Why did I push that away? Wow, 1010 on the camera as I'm saying this. Hmm, interesting. We have innocence. Oh, so they did push you away. Your innocence and kind heart makes them love you, but feel they must push you, you away to protect you from themselves. On a pedestal, this person thinks very highly of you and they think not so much, they don't think very highly of themselves. You're the queen of their heart, the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. It's only fear that makes them run. Unfound. See, they, they're realizing like, why was I afraid? 11-11 on the camera. Why was I afraid of the collective? I had no reason to be afraid of them. They are afraid to trust and get hurt. The illusion is keeping them locked in anxiety, unable to act upon their love. So this person's been living in this illusion or looking at the connection with you or the situation with you through the lens of an illusion, thinking that for some reason they thought that you were going to hurt them or that they couldn't trust you.
be up unsighted. Yeah, they are unable to see the complete extent of the toxicity they brought into the connection because that's all they know. Mm. Boundaries. Yeah, you guys have set boundaries. They love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walk away from those who don't respect them, including them. The journey. It's like this person's realizing that they should have chose to journey with you. They should have chose to go down the path with you. It wouldn't have probably been easy. It probably would have been a little bit, wow, 1212 on the camera as I'm saying this. It wouldn't have been easy, but it's, if you guys had each other, you guys would have got through it. Like, I don't know why this person didn't see it this way. This person is like literally learning that like teamwork makes the dream work. Like, I don't know what this person thought they were going to do, but now they're feeling like the right thing to do to balance the scales. It says they're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration. I told you they're doing something. Can't make it up, guys. Watching you. I told you. They've been watching your social media to see what you post and get clues to know how to approach you. We have past life. Their soul recognized your soul from the moment they met you. They knew you were the one they'd been waiting for. So this person knew all along that this was it for them, but they pushed it away. Yeah, and you guys gave up. You were sick of trying to convince this person like dude like the two of us we can be a power couple we can get the job done together a lot faster like you were trying to convince this person to see the value and the worth the, your value and the, the value of this the two of you being together and they were not seeing it because they were stuck in some type of illusion probably probably because of past traumas but so you guys gave up like yeah you're fighting a losing battle against your opposition don't downgrade yourself play at your level not theirs they were not they were fighting it they were not going they were fighting this. They were pushing it away. But yeah, they, that's why they were sending you mixed signals. That cloudy space between hot and cold is their way of telling you they're not totally sure if they're into you or not. They are opening themselves to love, allowing themselves to dream and plan because you give their life meaning. Yep, so they're leave, they could be leaving something. They feel like a fool, guys. Can you imagine like pushing away something as amazing as this? That they're like, wow, that, that was an amazing opportunity that I had with the collective. And I pushed, I sabotaged it. I pushed it away. I didn't accept it. I rejected an amazing offer. I rejected something with somebody who I knew was literally, I, who I felt was the one for me. But I let my fears, my anxieties, my traumas sabotage it. Psych me out. So, yeah. They're freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison. It's mostly that. They're getting out of their head here. They're freeing themselves from this illusion. They are freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind all that kept them away from you. They feel like a fool for crossing the line and messing up the connection. Yeah, but too embarrassed to come forward. They feel embarrassed for pushing you away because they know how good of an opportunity, how, how much of a catch you were, how much of a, uh, a good opportunity it would have been for the two of you to be together. Like, it literally makes no sense that they've been, like, put rejecting this or pushing this away or resisting this. And they're seeing it that way now. Like they finally see like they and that's why they're feeling so stupid. And they're like a little hesitant to come towards you because they or they're gonna have to come back with a tail between their legs. Cause they really don't have anything to show. They walked away from you for what? To, they walked away from you to go back to poverty or to lack or into struggle when they could have been with you and living well, living good, like or you guys could have been together building something amazing and they chose the latter. I don't know. So we do, did I just say power couple guys? I'm telling you, dealt a bad hand. They wish they'd met you at a different time because they feel they'll never get to see what the connection could have been. They see, they know now what the two of you could have been, like what you guys could have had together. But because of who they were and where they were at in their healing journey at the time that you guys met, they sabotage this. That's why they feel like, well, damn, why did I have to meet the collective at that time when I was that person, when I was that wounded and like that's what they're thinking about but it says power couple they see that both of you have an equal exchange of power which can make you unstoppable as a couple they see this now okay yep taming the beast you make them putty in your hands you know they know their old conquering ways will not work with you yep so they know that they can't come back on the same BS that they, you know, they they came towards you with before. So they know they have to either come towards you correct or not come towards you at all. They have to actually come towards you and actually like put in the work and offer you an actual commitment, something balanced. I do see that they want to do this. All right. I don't know. Let's see if they're going to actually do it, though. I don't see any indication here. I, I, do, see the, I do see the Eight of Cups in reverse. Oh, shit, guys. Hold on. I just dropped that whole damn deck.
All right. What um what is about to happen here? I do see them coming back. I mean, we do have the Eight of Swords. Somebody, you know what? Somebody is also realizing with the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Cups, they are seeing very clearly that you were there are their wish fulfillment. You they're seeing very clearly what will bring them fulfillment, what will bring them happiness. Yeah, success. Yeah, I'm telling you. Glow up, overcoming illness and negativity, feeling confident and being on the right path in life. This is you guys. You guys are glowing up. You're transforming. Like, you see how this girl's got these diamonds on? Yeah, you. I'm telling you, some of you guys are living, like, really well right now. Like, you know, being able to indulge in some of the finer things or nicer things in life. Just, and even if it's not that, you guys are just looking really good. Like, having fun, glowing, enjoying your life. Yeah, positive vibes, having fun with your friends. Look at this, reinvention. This could also be this person. Metamorphosis of mind and spirit, changing oneself into something better, working on shadow aspects and becoming aware of strengths and weaknesses. This could also be this person. Yep, cosmic love. This could be both of you. Connected in the 5D, regardless of disconnected in the 3D, intense or strong feelings that they feel are everlasting, powerful, or otherwise indescribable. We have, yeah, my, yeah, see, they definitely sabotage this. My obsessing thinking got in the way of, got the best of me. I allowed my emotions and others to control and dictate my actions toward our connection. I finally understand I need to trust my intuition because they always knew that you were their wish fulfillment. They always knew this. Taurus, some of you guys, it could be a Taurus. I did just see the um, Capricorn pop up on my phone. So some of you guys, like I said, could be earth signs or this could be a double earth. I, that keeps coming through in my collective. It's a double earth sign relationship. I took forever in making up my mind about our connection. Instead of speaking to you, I would run away and indulge in unnecessary pleasures in order to ignore my feelings. Mm. We have, and they were listening to people. Gluttonous gossip, unable to control and has an overwhelming need to share false or misleading info overindulging and overconsumption of personal narratives that may or may not be true yeah mm -hmm. i don't understand our connection and, and the way i feel when i'm with you i'm not ready for whatever this is i can't handle this right now i'd rather not think about it so what if, what's, the, what's happening now we have triggered what about triggered yeah you triggered this person because you were their mirror yeah I, if you if you are feeling under duress or feeling solemn, I feel it too. When you are thinking of me, I'm thinking of you too. Our connection is deep and profound and sometimes difficult to understand. So some of you guys may have been recently just feeling like out of it or anxious or just like pan like some feeling emotions just out of nowhere, sad out of nowhere. You're feeling this person's emotions because this person. Why is this person triggered? So if you guys have been feeling some type of way lately, it's because this person. It's feeling some type of way. They're feeling, yeah, people and places remind them of you. Panic. Somebody's panicking. I'm telling you. Somebody's not. Why is somebody panicking? Feel overwhelmed, cry, act out, withdrawn, or react defensively. Strong, uncomfortable, emotional reaction to something that wouldn't ordinarily cause that response. Why is somebody panicking right now? It says, I have my... I had my life all planned out, focusing on my five-year plan, but then I met you and everything changed. I didn't know how to rearrange my life for you. I should have learned to compromise. Is somebody realizing that, do they feel like their opportunity is gone? Like, they feel, they're starting to think, like, I should have done this. Why didn't I do this? Why did, I should have done, I should have done better um, towards, you know, the collective. Why is someone triggered? Why is someone panicking? Why is somebody panicking, spirit? Why is someone panicking? Why are they, what's this person, karmic partners? What about that? Uh-oh, age difference. Why is someone panicking? I am devoted to returning to you. I'm starting to feel hopeful about the future because I see you as a big part of it, okay? But somebody could be going through some type of drama with a karmic partner, turbulent with plenty of highs and lows, red flags, codependency, arguments, miscommunication. They test us in our understanding of love and relationships. Your your idea of love is very different than this person ever. Like that, you showed them what love was. Their idea of love was very different. But I still don't see why this person. Somebody's panicking. I keep hearing it. See somebody's feeling something. Yeah, because they're having a realization. Somebody's panicking because they're finally tapping in with their intuition, like they're or they're listening to it. 
they're seeing something. Yeah, light bulb moments of realization, direct knowledge from source without rational thought, a deep knowing and understanding without evidence. What are they having a light bulb moment about, Spirit? Why are they panicking and having a light bulb moment? I became inspired by your presence, your energy, and your beauty. Without you, I'm missing my tools. Yeah, they feel like without you, they're not going to be able to, to achieve something. What is, I don't know. They're feeling like, yeah, remorseful. They're feeling remorse. They feel like they need to make something up to you. Yeah, they could be getting karma right now, guys. Yeah, taking a big leap of faith. Major decisions affecting the outcome. Turning points. So things are changing. Yeah, isn't this, yeah, 55, cart 55. You guys can be seeing fives. Why are they panicking? What, why is this person panicking? Mm -hmm. They feel like they're running. They ran out of time, but they feel like time is running out. We have winter time here. Oh. Hmm. I'm having a hard time processing what happened between us, juggling my own personal responsibilities. I don't know. I don't really. They're not giving me like a straight to the point answer why this person is panicking, but. Yeah, we have fall time. What about fall? They're going to start realizing, like, fall going into winter, that you guys were supposed to be a power couple. Or they already are doing this. Um, Or that's how they feel, at least. That doesn't mean that you have to be that. Why is this person panicking? Hmm. I don't know. Why is this person panicking, though? Why are they freaking out? They want to have... That, already, that just came out, too. What? This isn't making sense, y'all. Bring this together for me. Building it. They're realizing something. I don't know, guys. They're realizing something. They're not. There's a, there's a lot of different things this person is realizing, okay? But why are they having a breakdown? They're going through massive upheaval. They're missing you. They're going to reach out to you. Why are they reaching out? I don't know, guys. Be careful with this person. They, I see sexual energy, but I don't know why this person's panicking, though. Yeah, they feel like things are over. Like, they feel like things are over between the two of you. Yeah. Why are the endings, endings? Why is this person panicking? Why is this person panicking? Battle of the wits. You're holding back a little bit. Yeah, they're about to come in and fight for you. You're holding back more than this person thought you were going to. They feel like they're running out of time. Because you're holding back from them. They didn't expect you to hold back this long. They want to sleep with you. They're craving you sexually. I don't know. This person, there's a lot of things. They're realizing a lot of things. They're realizing that they they messed up. It's like, oh, this, that's why it says they're going through massive upheaval. They're going through multiple different, like, realizations and changes and sh perspective shifts and all those things right now, guys. I don't know. They're, they're going through a lot of, like, like it says, massive upheaval. It says massive upheaval.